Hello everybody, this is M M A S M R. And here we are, we just nails. We did them a couple of days ago actually, <laughs> just touched them up. But anyway, I am back with another video today. And I just wanted to let you know that this video is not going to be um, with as professional charts. My printer is acting up again and I wasn't able to print some charts I found I had to wait for it to be fixed. I might just get a new one. <laughs> it's kind of trolling me every time I think that it's broken and I gotta get a new one that it starts working again only to break down a couple of days later. So yeah. So what I did is I have some images here on cards that are just very roughly drawn and sketched. But I'm just going to ask you some questions about colors and shapes, and I hope that you will still find this relaxing. So, firstly, we have this one. And I just want you to look at these three lines. One line, two line, three lines. And I want you to tell me if the blue boxes are on the left or the right. Okay, so I'm just going to point and you will tell me is it on the left or the right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. And the reds? Very good. Okay. I'm just going to point to some random, uh, I guess they're not really squares, I guess they're more rectangles. I'm just going to point to some random ones and I want you to tell me what color they are, okay? And is this one thinner or thicker than this one? This one is thinner, very good. And is this one bigger or smaller than this one? It's bigger, very good. And of the red ones, which is the biggest? This one, excellent. And of the blue ones, which is the biggest? This one. Excellent. Although this is probably the thickest. And how many do you see here in total? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're right. No trouble with that one. So, I'm going to move on to this one. And I want you to tell me. Is the yellow at the top or at the bottom? Yep. Yep. And is this green at the top or the bottom? Bottom, yep. And up here. Top, yes. And the reds. Are oh, the reds at the top or the bottom here? The bottom, very good. And is the red at the top or the bottom here? Very good. And how about the blue here? Is that the bottom, yep. And this blue? Very good. So now once again, I'm just going to point to some random colors. I'm going to do a very fast type of tapping and pointing here. And I just want you to tell me very quickly what you see, okay? Ready? Which color you see? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, very good. Very good, you had no trouble at all following along with that. Now here, we have some lines. And I'm just going to point to each line, and I want you to tell me what color I'm pointing to. So first, we're just going to go in a nice, steady order, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm just going to point randomly, and I want you to tell me which color I'm pointing to, okay? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yellow, yep. Mm-hmm. Again. Green, yep. Green. Yellow, yep. Yellow, yep. Very good. And I 
Now take a moment. Now count how many lines do you see here in total? Okay, let's see if you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in total. Very good. And we have some lines here and some dots. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to point to the lines and I want you to tell me what color each line is, okay? Yep, blue. Mm -hmm. Again. Yep. This one. This one's green. Very good. Now I'm going to point to the circle and just keep telling me the colors. Mm hmm. Red. Yep, red. Red again. Yeah, more red. This one? Mm-hmm. Yellow. And green, yep. Green again, yep. Yellow. And what's this one? It's black, yes. What's this one? Yellow. And what is the rarest color on this paper? Because it's black. Very good. Now, how many dots do you see on this paper? Okay, let's see if you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and how many lines? Okay, one, two, three, four. So think about the math. How many figures is that on the paper in total? Let's see if you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Good job. Okay. So, now this one's a little bit more complex. So, I want you to look at this paper very closely. You to tell me what shape I am pointing to, okay? Yep. Mm hmm. And what are these shapes? Triangles. Very good. And one, two, three. What shapes are these? Circles. Very good. And What are they? Lines, excellent. Now, can you see the difference between this color and this color? What do you think the difference is? This is red and this is orange, very good. So, how many other red dots do you see? Three. And how many other orange triangles do you see? Very, very good. Now, each triangle has a different color in it. I'm going to point and I want you to tell me which color is inside the triangle. Mm hmm yellow. Green, excellent. And what's this one? Yes, it's a violet color, so I'll accept either blue or purple, whatever you choose to say. In real life, it's blue, but on camera, it looks extremely purple, so either one's correct. Now, <laughs> what color are these lines? They're all black, yes? Now, which line is thicker? This one or this one? Mm hmm this one's very good. Now, which line is longer? This one, or this one? Very good. And which line is shorter? This one, or this one? This one, excellent. And which line is thicker? This one, or this one? This one, very good. Of these lines, which one is the longest? And of these two, which one is a little tiny bit longer? This one, a 
just by a smidge. Very good. And between this line, this line, and this line, which is the longest. Excellent. Between this line, this line, and this line, which one is the shortest? Very good. And how many lines do you see in total? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. The triangles, the colors, are one figure, one shape. But how many figures and shapes do you see in here in total? So in a minute, how many separate shapes do you see? Okay, let's find out if you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and eight. So now, we only have one more chart left, but I think you will enjoy it. So, we have here a number of circles, and the circles have some strange shapes in them. We also have some lines. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to point to each circle and I want you to tell me what color the circle is. Not the color of what's inside the circle, just the color of the circle, okay? Let's begin. Yes, it's a light purple, but because of the angle of the camera, if you say gray, I will accept that too. Pink, yes. Green, excellent. Red, yep. Yellow. Blue or light blue, very good. Pink, yep. This one. Orange, very good. So how many colors do you see in total? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're right, very good. Now look at the little figures in each one of these eight circles. Can you tell me what color is each one of these figures inside the circles? They're all black. Yes, very good. Now, I'm going to point to each one and I want you to tell me what shapes you see or, sh or patterns you see inside these circles, okay? What shape is inside the circle? Triangle. Very good. And this one? A square or a rectangle. Excellent. Hmm? Circle. A line. Yep. This one? Another triangle. Yep. See? And one is vertical and one is horizontal. Well, there you go. And, or not horizontal. One is vertical, one is flat. <laughs> I'm tired, guys. And what about this? What three shapes do you see now? Yep, three little circles. It does look a bit like a bowling ball, doesn't it? And what do you see here? Three lines, yes. And this is the most complicated one. What do you see in here? This is totally up for interpretation. It's kind of two merged circles. Yeah, it looks almost like a figure eight, but we can call this an abstract pattern. And of these patterns, do you have a particular favorite? That's a good choice. I personally love this one. Isn't it pretty? It looks like a bowling ball. And yes, I was right. Diagonal, horizontal. Right? Yeah. Vertical. No, diagonal. What am I saying? Diagonal, vertical, horizontal. I don't have any that are going off this way. I should have. I just thought of that. <laughs> but anyway, I don't have to worry about that now. Let's just focus on these lines now. So, firstly, what color are these lines? They're black, yes. 
how many do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Very good. Now I'm just gonna point to them. Just gonna ask you some questions about them, okay? Is this line bigger or smaller than this line? Bigger or longer, yes. And is this line here longer or shorter than this one? Longer, yep. Is this one shorter or longer than this one? Shorter, yep. Is this one taller or shorter than this one? It's taller, yep. And is this one tinier or bigger than this one? Tinier, excellent. Is this tinier or bigger than this one? It's tinier, yep. And is this one bigger or smaller than this one? Bigger. And of all the lines, which one do you think looks the biggest? I think this one or this one. I'd say it's pretty much a tie. I think this one might be slightly bigger, but it's hard to tell. You just said either one, I'll give it to you. And which one do you think is the tiniest? Yeah, I think this is the smallest, but only by a little bit, because this one's tiny too. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead with the pointer and I want you, I'm going to be pointing to specific lines, okay? And you see the way that the lines come in groups? Like this is a group of two, 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 and this is a group of two, and this is a group of three. So I'm going to point to specific lines and I just want you to tell me if it's the bigger or smaller of the line in its group, okay? And in this case, when I start pointing to these, I just want you to say biggest, smallest, or medium, okay? So I'm just gonna start randomly pointing. Bigger, smaller, excellent, this one. Bigger, smaller, very good. Smaller, bigger, very good, this one. Smaller, bigger, yep. Bigger, smaller, this one. Bigger, smaller, middle. Excellent, so you have no trouble on any of those charts at all. I'm very impressed. So now, before we go, I know that many of you enjoy the videos where I ask you to close your eyes and guess the color. So we can do that tonight with a couple of paintbrushes, okay? So I'm just going to ask you to close your eyes. And when I say open them, I'm going to have a color in front of you, okay? So try to guess the color. Ready? So, close your eyes. Close your eyes. And open them. And what color? Black. Yes, this is actually the pointer. I know, do you guys like this pointer? It's nice and shiny. So I think that might be fun to include in this video. Close your eyes, close your eyes, and open them. And what color do you see now? Green, excellent. This is a more basic brush, it's not quite as fancy as the pointer, but still pretty shade of green. So close your eyes, close your eyes, keep them closed, and open them. And what color is this one? It's like a pink, a mauve. Yes. Very, very good. So we'll do a couple of more. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. And open them. And what color do you see? Yellow. Excellent. Do you see? Blue. And 
you see anything special about this brush or different? It's got paint on it. <laughs> yes, I was painting earlier and I did not fully clean this brush as much as I thought I did. I cleaned the bristle, but it's got some paint on it. And if you look closely, you can see it's green paint and red paint and some yellow paint. It's completely dry now. But I'll have to put this back into the sink to clean it off, but I'll be using it again soon, so it'll be safe for a while. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back with some more professional charts um, in the very near future as soon as I can get my printer to work. But I hope this relaxed you still. I hope